What's going on Star Wars fans? You're watching The Collector's Hub. My name is Chris and we're going to be taking a look at DJ from Canto Bite, Star Wars The Last Jedi, The Black Series number 57. Now this is a really cool looking figure. I can't wait to jump right into it. But before we do, this review is probably sponsored by Jet's Toy Hut. So make sure you head on over to ToyHut.com. This figure is in stock right now and the link is in the description below. So make sure you go check it out. So with all of that being said, let's get right to this review. We'll start off with the package. So you have the standard Black Series box with a really cool picture of DJ on the bottom right. Looking all shady. Number 57. And like always, there is a description on the back. With the same picture just enlarged. And like always, you have that Disney and Hasbro logo on the bottom right. Sweet looking box. Let's get right to the figure. So here he is, DJ. And this figure came out very nice. I'm telling you, I'm absolutely loving the new photo rail face deco. I mean, Benicio del Toro has very strong features and it captured it very well with the bone structure and all that stuff. So I'm very happy with it. Great paint job. So we'll jump right into the articulation. The head goes up and down. Very tight joint there. Little side to side, left and right. Good movement there. The arms go up and down, 90 degree angle. Elbows do bend and swivel. There are wrist joints, but because of his jacket, there's a little bit of a restriction there. But the hands do swivel. Very nice detail with the rings. There is a waist joint. Allows them to go side to side. Not much front and back, but definitely side to side. The legs go up and down. And I like that the holster is uh, soft vinyl material, not molded to the leg. So no restrictions there. There's a joint on the upper portion of the leg to make it swivel. The knees do bend. And there are ankle joints. Up and down, side to side. All that good stuff. Now, the jacket is made out of uh, soft vinyl material, as you can see. And there's a uh, strong detail and a really nice paint job with all the wrinkles and creases, the gold on the collar. Looks like it's been through hell and back. Very rugged. Nice writing on the hat. The facial hair looks really nice. Yeah, I'm very happy with this figure. Now, you could take the jacket off if you wanted to, but as you can see, the sleeves are painted the same color as the jacket, so it'll look a little weird. take a look at his gun. Pretty cool looking design here. Nice paint job. Very cool looking.
very different. Fits very nicely in his hand and all that good stuff. And he comes with another blaster, a little pistol here. It's really cool because the holster has a strap. Now this is a very tight fit. So I kind of just get to really pry it out of here. Just bear with me. There we go. But nice paint on this gun as well. A couple different colors. I think it's meant to go in this hand for sure. Yeah, definitely. It would have been nice if that trigger finger went through where the trigger is. That would have been cool. But I'm pretty sure you can probably customize that if you want, make a little slice there. I'm sure that would take like two seconds. It looks very cool. So he comes with those two blasters. Really digging that one. So yeah, so you just pop that right back in. Boom. As you can see. Press it down, put the strap right on there. And it looks boss. Pretty cool. So I think this is a pretty damn cool figure. Big fan of Del Toro. And of this figure, no doubt. And like I said, that photo rail face deco, man, it's on fire. Gotta loosen up that joint a little bit. Very cool looking. I mean, the amount of detail that we're getting on these new figures, really nice. The sleeves look really cool. Yeah, this is a good one. Wonder if we'll see him pop up in episode 9. After him spilling the beans, I don't know how happy the resistance, the rebels are with him. That was a dirtbag move. But alright guys, loving the figure. Thank you so much for checking it out. Please let me know what you think of this figure. I think they did a really nice job with it. The detail is really phenomenal. And like I said, if you want to pick up this figure, uh, ToyHut.com, the link is in the description below. As you can see, he has custom Toy Hut boxes, all different sizes to accommodate whatever you're going to get. And he takes great pride in his shipping. And he, uh, if he states that it's mint, that's how you're going to receive it. It's really important. Everything that I ever got came like really, really nice. And if you want to see more of me, go to thecollectorshut.com. You can find me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, right here on YouTube. Please subscribe, comment, and share. Love hearing from you guys. The support is amazing. And keep tuning in because I have so much more to share with you guys. Like always, may the force be with you. And I'll see you on the next one.